In today's video, find out why most marketers and coaches suck, and also find out how to avoid falling into their trap. Those who have the capacity to give good advice generally have too much sense to waste their time trying to get rid of it. All right, so we just talked about the epidemic of these rent-a-friend style coaches where people will give encouragement, tell you're great, but won't give any specific advice. A smaller subset though will actually give you specific advice, which is a huge upgrade from the rah-rah, you're so perfect and great folks. They'll outline a plan for you, give you real feedback on what you should be doing and try to outline what you should be doing with your business, your diet, whatever it is that they're coaching you on. And that's a marked improvement from the people we just talked about. What people still have to be careful of is making sure that the people who are giving them this, this advice are actually experts in the thing they're advising on. Because people love to give advice. They love to be heard and they will readily tell you what they think and what their opinion is and that's irrespective of whether they actually know what they're talking about or not. So simply being specific isn't enough. Just because somebody's willing to give you their opinion doesn't mean that that opinion is worth anything. And like the quote that we had at the outset mentions, the people who are often the most willing to give out their opinion are often the least qualified to actually be giving that opinion. So ultimately what advisors are saying is mostly comprised of their opinion. There aren't a lot of hard and fast rules and a lot of things, so it comes down to what their judgment is. So we really wanna make sure that people's background is sound enough to where they have good judgment and that the advice they're giving you is actually rooted in true knowledge and not just stuff that they're pulling out of thin air. And you'll see examples of this all the time where people are giving advice that by definition does not match the reality of their lives. I'll see life coaches all the time who are in their early 20s and haven't really accomplished anything. They haven't faced any real struggles, they haven't had great achievements because it's an early stage in their lives and that's fine. But they'll still try to tell people how they should be living their lives, what they need to do to achieve, what they need to do to get to the next step when they haven't actually been able to achieve that themselves. I'll see these life coaches all the time to where they're, they'd be working at Starbucks or having it to where they were bagging groceries somewhere, which is totally fine, but it didn't give you a whole lot of confidence that they had the first-hand experience to be able to really give you advice that was actionable that you knew you could trust. You see the same thing with multi-level marketing things all the time. Anybody who pitches an MLM is always going to tell you that it's life-changing, that it's easy money, that they wish they had done it sooner, that this is how they're supporting themselves, that it's the greatest thing they've ever done, but they all have other jobs. None of them are running around taking trips around the world every week because of this massive, endless wealth that's being generated because that's not the reality. They're not actually getting those results. They're just claiming they are. My favorite example was I was coming back from a conference and sitting next to a girl who was probably in her late 20s, early 30s, and she was a coach and her niche was coaching people on how they could quit their jobs and work full time for themselves as coaches. That was her specific thing that she t coached everybody on, but she worked full time as an employee for somebody else. So the very thing that she was telling people how to do, she hadn't been able to accomplish herself. You see this, it can be an epidemic in the coaching space. First we look and see if the people can actually give you specific advice and not just encourage you, but even then you really have to look very closely at the reality and look at what their lives are showing you about what they're saying. And if their lives don't match what they're telling you you can accomplish, then you might want to be a little more careful about hiring them and even if they're ha willing to give you the advice for free, whether or not you want to take that advice from them. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if that resonated with you, if you've ever been through something similar, we'd love to hear your experiences and what you thought about it.